Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay, Empowered by Magic Needles. This day I am here with a thick fabric, a reversible fabric which is titled as Buzz. And this particular uh, pattern uses the spike stitches and uh, the pattern is created. The spike stitches is used one row, two row, three rows, two rows and one row below and uh, then you have a single crochet in between. Spike stitches are created by single crochets uh, at different levels and to different heights. So let us go into the video without further delay and uh, one more information. This has been created with 100% hobby store anti pill iron yarn which is 100% acrylic and a 5 mm crochet hook and it's a perfect 8 inch square. Now let's go into the video friends. Chain 28. Row 1, one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and one single crochet in each stitch across. So complete the first row and then rows 2, 3 and 4 are SC rows. So complete up to row 4. I shall complete up to row 4 and get back. We have to work 4 rows of, four rows of single crochets. So we will have 27 single crochets. At the end of row 4, join new yarn and fasten off the color A. Turn your work, one single crochet in the very first stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. Then one single crochet in the row below, one row below, we are doing the spike stitches, one single crochet, two rows below. So one single crochet, three rows below, here. Now we have one single crochet, two rows below. So one, two, three, two, one. One single crochet, one row below. So we have made the spike stitches here. Now one single crochet in the next single crochet. So one single crochet one row below again we are going to make the set of spikes. Two rows below. Three rows below, again two rows below, so one, two, three, two, one, one row below. So second set of spike is done here, one single crochet in the next single crochet. You can continue the spike stitches till the end. So I have completed the row 5 which is a spike stitch row. Now you, you have the option of chaining 1, turning and placing single crochets in each of the stitches or just turn and place your first single crochet in the very first stitch. 
and one single crochet in each of the stitches across okay this is row 6 7 and 8 are single crochet rows so when you come back to row 9 i shall get back to you i have completed rows 6 7 and 8 which are sc rows now at the end of the row in the last stitch do not complete the last single crochet join color a turn your work fasten off color b okay now we are going to place a spike stitch to begin with in the second row then one spike in the third row sorry we don't yarn over and go so two three now one spike in row two one spike one row below now one single crochet so in this manner we offset the spikes okay continue the spike stitch pattern for row 9 row 10 11 and 12 are single crochet rows i will complete this row and get back i have come to the end of the row here i will place my spike in the third stitch now we began by placing spike in the second row two rows below now i end with the same way two rows below so when you count totally you will have 27 stitches So this is row 9, row 10, 11 and 12 are single crochet rows. So turn your work and place your first single crochet in the very first stitch or you chain 1 and place your first single crochet, it does not make a difference. Okay, continue the 3 rows, I shall complete the single crochet rows and get back to you. I have completed the rows 10, 11 and 12, now henceforth it is a repetition of rows 5 to 8 and 9 to 12 alternatively so please pause your video and note down the instructions so we have rows 5 to 8 the first row in every repeat is a spike row okay so rows 5 to 8 are repeated when you work rows 13 to 16 rows 21 to 24, rows 29 to 32 and rows 37 to 40 and rows 9 to 12 are repeated when you work rows 25 to 28, 33 to 36 and here I think I have missed out something. So rows 17 to 20, one minute, sorry guys while writing down I have missed out the 17 to 20, see here we have completed row 12, 13 to 16, 17 to 20. 21 to 24, 25 to 28, 29 to 32, 33 to 36 and 37 to 40. So this is where this is how we repeat those rows, these instructions as per rows 5 to 8 and 9 to 12 and this can be worked for any length and this can be customized to, to any width you require. Okay. So I shall be back when I complete row 40. I have completed 40 rows, repeating rows 5 to 8 and 9 to 12 alternatingly and this is how the design develops and this is a very good uh, uh, design for all your wearables, thick wearables, thick shawls, thick stoles and uh, if you work in cotton, thick cotton, it would be great for your hot pads too. So it's very good and it's reversible. That's the beauty for this beauty of this uh, particular pattern. This is titled as Bus, and I don't know the designer's name. I know only its title. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this stitch pattern. If you happen to be the first time viewer for our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified of the videos that we upload every other day. 
do like and share too. I shall be back with yet another pattern in the next video. Bye for now friends. Have a great day.